Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you have to do double job of chairing a session for two. Thank you for organizers to allow me to present our work here. And also <clears throat> very special, distinguished audience. We have been working on tolerance for the last 15 years. That is what our need is in our clinical transplantation. So I'll tell, take you through the travelog of 15 years, what we did with our stem cells and with renal transplantation. Uh, next one, please. This is the institute which we built. We do more than 300 kidney transplant every year because we believe that's the final solution of our patient. And we do 100 liver transplant as well. And there are 400 indoor beds only for transplantation in this hospital. So we have built a citadel of transplantation in Ahmedabad. Next one, please. In 1996, we all had a brainstorm how we can do a transplantation in India. Looking at social, economical situation and looking at many things, how we can do a transplantation. Can we offer a modern medicine to a man who does not have financial resources equivalent of that? You cannot deprive them of a modern medicine. And therefore we all sat down and decided what we will do. And we had. In 1996, there were a lot of drugs, one drug, two drugs, four drugs. And we were wondering how Indian patient will not survive with the four drugs in, in the in microbial environment where we are working. Next one, please. We know Salvatera's work in 1985 where he, he proved that DST improves the minimization of immunosuppression and also graph live longer. Next one, please. And then we took a <coughs> thing from his experience and his publication. We used a metapoietic stem cell. We saw mixed chimerism, and we also saw a chimerism. We also saw a tolerance in our group of patients. We published in Transplantation Proceedings 2005. Here you could see a Chimerism, and here you could see the stem cells as it is seen under microscope. Next one, please. Except that our results were not very good with hematopoietic stem cell. So we decided to add up to a adipose tissue derived stem cell and make a cocktail of it. And this is the first patient whom we transplanted five years ago. She is on five milligrams spread at present, only five milligrams of it, with a normal renal function after five years. This is the first time we had adipose tissue derived stem cell as well as hematopoietic stem cell. Cocktail was infused pre transplantation. And at this time, we saw that our survival figures with the mixture, when we used the cocktail was much better comparison to when we use only hematopoietic stem cell. As you could see in kaplan Meyer. And then at this point we are convinced that we are going to do a stem cell as of both, from hematopoietic stem cell as well as adipose tissue derived stem cell. Next one, please. Then we had a all our data was put on a kaplan Meyer, in which we proved that a good match with a protocol, stem cell protocol, did much better than a bad match with a, without protocol. This was clearly seen in our kaplan Meyer uh, data. Next one, please. And our graph survival, if you, we, when we compared with UNOS data, this is our graph survival without immunosuppression or minimized immunosuppression. This is not a same comparison between UNOS data and our data. We, we didn't do that bad comparison to UNOS data. Next one, please. 
So we finalize on our tolerance induction protocol in which we use radiation in a very low dose or we use bortezomib to make a space where stem cells were lodged and found placed into the system. And then we infuse the cocktail and this cocktail was infused in the thymus. We had an extraordinary technically skilled person who will cannulate the thymic vessel and infuse it. We believe that thymus gives a better opportunity for stem cells to become regulatory T cells. Next one. And by this time it was clearer that indirect pathway was more important comparison to a very early pathways. And therefore, <coughs> we had a data in which some of our patients has gone more than 10 years. So six years of cutout line of a chronic rejection we have overcome. That was an indirect proof of our work with the stem cell. Next one. This is how the mesenchymal stem cell will produce suppression. It's a master suppressor cell. There are several ways to the several cytokines it does. But what we did was very special in Ahmedabad that we generated, please listen to me, we generated regulatory T cells from mesenchymal stem cells in our own lab and use it in patients. So that is an Ahmedabad way of looking at it, IL-2 peripheral blood mesenchymal cells converting themselves into the regulatory T cell. We have a regulatory T cell which was generated in vivo through the stem cell and we have a regulatory T cells we generated in our own lab. Next one, please. This is how the Fox3 and T-Rex work. Next one. Next one, please. This indicates how the regulatory T cells are very useful. Next one. This is the data of 90 patients who were taken in for the analysis. Next one. And as you could see that 14 years creatinine of one, between 1.2 to 1.3 drugs, five milligrams of PRAD. That's all the drug they have. And their survival is 14 years. Next one. This is the biopsy which looks normal. Next one. We have also seen a regulatory T cell in our biopsy. Negative for granzyme and perforin. Ne next one, please. This is the final slide in which we have infused the regulatory T cell which we have made in our own lab. And as you could see, the effect of it, we have a for 10, 10 months, zero rejection, no, minimum drugs, and all these patients are doing very well. We believe that we have a break through our regulatory T cell. Final slide, please. So we have a clinical model for robust tolerance in living related tree transplant stem cell infusion and induction of T-Rex, Fox3 positive, is a key to our tolerance. Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, if there are some questions. If no question, we go on because uh, we are in delay, big delay, so we can save time. I'm sorry, but I, I will discuss with you some of your data, very interesting. Thank you very much. I, I believe that uh, well, I, I'll, I'll, we will come back. We will come back with a thousand patients on the World Forum. I can assure you of that. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> we go.